Welcome to the infinite item generator. What does it do? It generates random items. And lots of them. If you want to create any type of RPG game or MMO or even a game similar to Borderlands, this pack should be right up your alley. You can generate as few or as many items as you wish and each time the item generator is used, it will generate a fresh new batch of items, all complete with their unique stats, graphics and miscellaneous properties. How does it work though? Well, the magic happens in the item generator blueprint. Everything is split into neatly organized functions and everything is commented and hopefully simple to understand. We have our weapons functions here. As you can see, we have the neatly laid out and commented sections. Even, even the more complex functions hopefully are split up into easily digestible bits. Most of the tweaks uh, can be done using the exposed variables from item level to base item value and uh, everything in between. Change the value here and all the future generated items will change as well. Now, there are two major categories of items, armor and weapons. They are generated the same, but they have some different base stat. Let's take a look at the armor section for now. Here there is uh, the drop chance, which basically is the chance of the item to actually spawn when the function is called, and there is the minimum and maximum number of items to be generated. Now we have the rarity chances. Basically, once an item is spawned, we calculate what rarity it will be, based on the values here. Then we have the base values of the items. Keeping them as default will randomize all of them. And we have a mesh and icon that you can select for the item as well. Next we have some more control values. This is basically the pool from where the item can take its meshes and icons. You can easily add additional meshes or icons when the item is generated. It will have a chance to use it, depending on the item class and type. And last but not least, we have the name list, which is just that. It's the place where the generated name takes its value from. You can add as many names as you want here and the item will choose one randomly when generated depending on the item type and class. So now on to a little demonstration. We will now generate some custom weapons. Basically, once you start uh, editing any of the content uh, the control values of an item, then that value will not be randomized anymore. And all the items that will spawn, that will spawn, will spawn with that exact value. And the rest of the values that you left as default will still be randomized. So for now, let's go with uh, changing the minimum and maximum number. And let's go for the item level being 100. Okay, save now and let's try it out. There you go. 
Now we have a few weapons here, but uh, they should all be item level 100. Yep. And as you can see, they're all different, they're all generated with different stats, but they all have the item level in common. Let's make some more items. And some more. And some more again. And again. So this ends our little demonstration. Uh, the walkthroughs and the documentation should cover everything else you need. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>